Hello everybody, um, today what we're going to go through is we're just going to go through a small little um, project which is our phone um, hearing stand, okay? So you can see it is completed here, okay, in the bottom, okay, just basic one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this from scratch and I'm also going to create a drawing of it. So uh, we're just going to go with um, phone, apologies. Um, hearing okay um, okay so first things first what I want to do is I want to draw this in the front plane which is the plane I have highlighted so I'm simply going to hide the other two planes okay which are my top plane and my right plane okay so how do I revolve my planes like this very simple just push okay your roller or your scroller okay on your mouse down and move the mouse okay let's hide them so just simply go over here to our design tree and we're going to press hide and hide okay so just click on the eye now we press front on our viewing cube and that allows us to see directly straight at it so we go to sketch on shape is asking us to select okay a plane so it says here select the sketch plane and i'm just simply clicking on the front plane here or i can go to my tree and select it from my tree okay so i'll just click it here so our first sketch let's go um corner rectangle start from your origin make sure it turns orange yellow whatever you want to call it and we're going to move up and just draw any size of a rectangle we're going to dimension that now so, so dimension is simply above here i'm hovering over and i left click okay so i'm simply going to left click just hover over the line, wait until it goes orange, left click and bring your bring uh, your measurement up and left click again and we're going to go with 75 millimeters. Okay. Um hover over the line, left click, left click, okay, and we're going for 30 millimeters here. Okay. So my next step, what I need to do is I now need to extrude that and give it 3D. So come up to extrude here and we're going to go with five millimeters because this will be completed using five millimeter perspex okay so five and correct so i always like to have my plane larger than my piece that i'm drawing so what i'm just going to do is make my front plane larger here left click on it when you left click on it you'll get four little circles just drag that out okay so we have a plane now Total surrounding okay our piece which is better so I just left click on it there for it to um to go so left click again left click to get off so we're going to now take a cut out of this okay and we're going to use our sketch command here so when I go into my sketch command again the computer okay asks you to select the sketch plane so what we're going to do is the last time we sketched from the front plane now what we're going to do is we're now going to sketch from the face okay yes a face okay so this plane here okay is in line with okay that back edge okay where my mouse is going along okay but now what i want to do is i want to click on that face okay so i'm now sketching from that front face so we're going to look at the front, just go to front, go to sketch and we're going to go to corner rectangle. We'll zoom in and we're going to do this on the top left corner. So hover over, make sure it goes orange, left click to start, left click to finish. Okay. Up to smart dimension or our dimension. And we're simply going to go with this distance from here to here will depend on your width of your phone okay that you want to put in uh, is it um, encased in an otter box if it is well then this will have to be wider if it isn't well then it'll have to be thinner okay for now we're going to go for a distance okay of 15 millimeters okay 
this distance from here to here we're going to go with 10 so I just clicked on this line and I clicked on this line left click left click and then third left click here that's 10 mil okay 10 millimeters we're going to put that roughly there that there next thing is like to come like I said roughly three quarters down and um, so we're going to go distance from here to here okay that's not happening. I'm just going to press escape. Okay, I'm gone out of the dimension mode, so I'm going to go back into it. And I'm going to click on that line, and I'm going to click on that line. Okay, and I'm going to click out here on the left hand side. So three left clicks one, two, three. So this distance at the moment is 23. Let's talk it to 20. Okay, that looks good enough. Alright, so I'm going to cut that now. So, very simple. We're going to go up to our extrude, which is up on the left here and uh, this being on shape we have our extrude cut uh, all in one and we have an extrude all in one okay here so we're just going to go to remove just press remove if you want to see it revolve it press down the scroller okay in your mouse and then just move now it's already set to default 25 that's okay it's cutting a bit uh, further than uh, required we could maybe just make it to maybe you know 10 I will do perfect also, but 25 will, will do also. Okay, that's correct. That's that done. So next thing what we want to do is we want to do some fillets around the edges just to ensure safety in our design, okay, for all users. And also safety in our pocket, okay, because this will be located on a ring, okay, and a set of keys. And we don't want this piercing into our leg, okay, when we are walking or even just going from class to class, room to room. Uh, during the day or in and out of a car or maybe on a bike getting off a bicycle anything like that activity so um, we're going to go to fillet so our sketch fillet okay um, not our sketch fillet but our fillet should be here okay just along the top so we're just going to left click on that and what I can do here okay is this little blue block blue box here apologies um is our entities okay to fill it which is what just means an entity is just what piece do you want to fill it okay so i'm just revolving this and i'm zooming in you need to pick the edge so we'll pick that edge and that has got a 10 fillet i don't want that so i'm just going to go five okay and left click out here so we can keep clicking in all the areas that we want to fill it okay and it will perform a fillet all in one okay Every time I select, okay, an edge or an area to fill it, you can see that this blue box, okay, becomes larger and larger and larger. Again, we'll left click, left click on that. Okay, so that's very good. That's looking quite nice. My preview, okay, is showing exactly what I want to see. So we're happy with that. We can now press correct. Okay. So last thing, what we're going to do is in order for this to fit onto a keyring, we need to put a hole on it. And I think the strongest and safest place to, hold, to put a hole on it would be maybe in this area here. So I'm going to look at the front, just by pressing OK the front of my viewing cube, zoom in a bit, and we're going to go to sketch. Again, it's going to ask us what plane do we want to sketch on or what face. Just going to X this here because that is uh, in the way. Select a sketch plane. I'm going to select the face here again. That's the face. Go for my circle. Draw a circle anywhere you want. Okay, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my dimension. So first of all, let's dimension the circle. Okay, so roughly that's two. I think you would probably roughly need a three millimeter. Okay, bit. Okay, depending on the size of your key rings. Okay. Um, next thing what we'll do is this distance from here to here okay that is five there um, I'd like that to be maybe a bit more than five okay and we should go for maybe a distance of we say seven see what that looks like okay so it takes it in a bit like that okay seven might look a bit too much so let's double click on it and look let's just try five for now okay uh, my worry is I don't want the edge of this circle here, which is three o'clock, too far. Sorry, too close to this piece here. Okay, 
just because it mightn't be durable enough, uh, it wouldn't give our design longevity in the long in the long run. So that's one thing that we need to look at. Um, it looks good enough here, um, so we'll go with that. So we're going to left click here, and we're going to left click here. Okay, and it's 15, which is pretty good. That's centered, um, and we're going to leave that there like that. And 15, and enter. I don't like my measurements crossing over one another, okay, so I'm always going to maybe put that there, pull that down here, like that, we'll have those in line, have that there, pull that back a bit, always have your dimension in the middle, okay, of your uh, length, don't have it down there, don't have it up there, okay, and don't have it like that, okay, or like that, has to be off a piece, have it in line with the other number and in the middle, that looks good. So that's our hole to be cut. We now go to our extrude and we want to, okay, not add. If I revolve that now, we'll just look at that. Looks pretty funny. Don't want that to happen. We want to remove it. Okay. So we don't want to add, we want to remove and then press correct. And that's our shape. Okay. And last but not least, okay, we can put a bit of an appearance on it. Okay. Um, and we can go with something like, okay, right click. Um, and edit appearance in parts and I'll go for maybe some kind of blue like that okay all right so that looks pretty good if you wanted you know you could put some small 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 little fillets okay on the face of this and um, you might maybe use sandpaper you might maybe use a file or you maybe just might just leave it the way it is might leave it sharp okay but I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny little um, fillet on that, okay, all around it. It's a bit hard to see with the blue, so I'm just going to change it back for now. We'll go for a grey colour, just like that, okay, or even that colour, okay, it's a bit easier to see. Press correct. Um, so, let's go to fillet, which is here, and we're going to go for something like a one millimetre fillet. I know it's very, very small, but it might look well, okay, on it. The last time we clicked on edges, which was this edge and this edge, now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to try a face fillet. So we're just going to put our scroll around this face and we're just going to left click and see what happens. Okay. So you can see it has filled the whole thing. Okay. At one millimeter. Okay. Now we try 0.5, even smaller again. It might round it to one. Okay. We'll see. Okay. And it won't do that for us. Okay. So we're just going to go with one millimeter. That's that. All right. So we forgot to do the other side. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll go into our design tree, double left click, okay, and revolve it around. And in okay, our um, entities to fill it, we're just going to click on the opposite face, which is that, okay, and that gives us okay a lovely little bit of a fillet, okay. Again, you don't have to do this, but okay, I think it just looks well, okay, and it finishes the project off, okay. Look at my 3D view here just by clicking that and zoom in. Right, so let's change the appearance. Press correct, appearance, okay, um, edit appearance. I'm just going to go from the lighter blue. Okay, that's nice. And press correct. No, um, our next thing is we now want to bring that into a drawing. Okay, but that's enough for now. Okay, um, I hope you've learned a lot. Okay, on this little tutorial, it looks at a lot of things really. Okay, I suppose we're looking at sketching. Uh, first of all, we're looking at using our different planes. We're looking at an extrude. Uh, we're looking at uh, an extrude remove. We're looking at drawing circles and cutting a circle. Okay, out of a piece. And uh, we're looking at a edge fillet and a face fillet. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, and take care.